Hello, very good morning from Windvale Dam. Back here after about a week. The week in which we caught those very sick looking fish. No Doug, no Peter, they're busy today. So I've come down solo. See if I can't catch a decent carp. My goodness, a lot of birds. The water is looking pretty murky, I have to say. And we've just had a busy weekend. Busy in terms of the number of people fishing here. I went past and there were a lot of people fishing. And I'll show you something in a minute, which is a uh, hangover from that. But anyway, we'll see how we go this morning. Uh, I hope I'm going to get some fish that aren't covered in sores like they were last week. It's an early start. It's only just coming up to 6am. But a nice looking day. A bit cloudy. It's going to be 26 today, which is quite warm. So I'm hopeful. We'll see how we go. Well, it may only be a carp. But that's a sad end for a fish. So I'm expecting that was probably a bycatch from the weekend. And someone's just killed it and thrown it back in the water. It didn't even sink. That's a bit irresponsible. And just to show you what people do around here for fun, someone's parked a shopping trolley in the tree. Dear idea. Anyway, something is having a bit of a peck at that. I reckon it's probably one of those tea animals. But boy, I can smell that from here. Anyway, back to the fishing. On the left hand rod I've got a patnoster with worms, hoping for a catfish. On the right hand rod over here I have a feeder with bread. And you have to be hopeful, but this dam is certainly not looking as healthy as it should. I just hope that uh, we're not going to have a big fish kill, because that's happened before in summer when the water conditions have been similar. Anyway, we'll see how we go. Keep you posted. This side of the dam used to have a beautiful stand of willow trees. This is all that's left. And whilst willow trees have their critics, it did provide shade and no doubt a food source and habitat and everything else for the fish. And the council in its infinite wisdom decided to take them all out. What an absolute mess. I'll see if I can find a clip of what it used to look like and put it in somewhere about here. It really has devastated this area. I've been here about half an hour, sun's up, the early morning lake walkers are on the job and as yet absolutely nothing. Oh well, you have to stay optimistic. If you go fishing and without any optimism, you probably shouldn't be there. A lot of bubbles coming up just out there. I suspect it's one of those, I'm not going to say the word, but it starts with a T, foraging around on the bottom. I doubt very much it's fish. Yeah, the bubbles have moved a couple of feet to the side, so I suspect that's exactly what it is. So I won't be putting my line in there. You can see that dead carp floating around just out there such a shame really no one's going to catch that again something's chewing on it too by the looks I've been here for an hour and a half and pretty well that's been it but sometimes the fish 
don't bite early and you've just got to be patient. The worms weren't touched. I've been here for nearly three hours so I've switched a corn on the feeder and taken off the paternoster and gone to unweighted bread. But I have to say it's not just quiet it's pretty well dead. I've tried everything. There's lots and lots of bubble action out there but I have a feeling it's the dreaded tease. I've seen one fish breach and other than that it has been dead. I have to say in all modesty it's not often I go out for a trip and get absolutely nothing and it's even less often that I go out for a trip and don't even get a bite but that's certainly what's happened this morning so I guess that's why they call it fishing and not catching because there sure hasn't been much catching today never mind beats gardening doing the washing, doing the ironing, doing the dishes and it gets me out. So a little bit more and if nothing happens home for some lunch. But this would have to be one of the poorest results I've ever had here. Not a touch. Very strange. We have a potential problem on the horizon. There's supposed to be some quite heavy rain at the end of the week. That's after a good four weeks of no rain at all, which is quite unusual. We're well, well down on our monthly average in Adelaide. So if we get a big inflow of rain off the roads, Given the low water level and the poor water quality, I think unfortunately it's very likely we'll get a fish kill, which is uh, not something you really want any time. But uh, at this dam, it tends to put the fishery back a long way. So fingers crossed, I will come down here and have a look if we do get a big rain and just see what sort of result it has. But the water is probably down a good oh, two feet or more. And looking across the other side of the dam there you can see birds on a sandbar. Well the water is normally right up to the trees there. So it's very, very low and very, very scungy. My little greeby friend is back thinks he's a duck. I'm going to call it a day. A local school has turned up and they're doing, I don't know, some sort of environmental study. Uh, my environmental study has been a total failure this morning. So 10.30, way too long without a fish. Home for coffee. And just goes to show you can't always catch. See you in the next one.